Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. It's good enough for me. It was good for Paul and Silas. It was good for Paul and Silas. It was good for Paul and Silas. It's good enough for me. Well, give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. It's good enough for me. It was good for the Hebrew children. It was good for the Hebrew children. It was good for the Hebrew children. It's good enough for me. Well, give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. It's good enough for me. Makes me love everybody. Makes me love everybody. Makes me love everybody. It's good enough for me. Well, give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. It's good enough for me. Well, give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. It's good enough for me. Welcome to Uncle John Wesley's Rock and Revival, a musical celebration of faith for and from the people of the City Road Chapel United Methodist Church, located in Madison, Tennessee. Today's show features Brian Hansen, the Sisters of Joy, and the Danberries. And now, here's the City Road Chapel pastor, Jay Voorhees. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And on behalf of all the folks at the City Road Chapel United Methodist Church, I want to welcome you to this place as we celebrate our faith through this rockin' revival. Revival because we hope that it will lift your spirit and help you feel more connected to God at some level. And rockin' because we hope it you tap your toes as you listen to the music. Now, for us Methodists, revival has been part of our tradition. We are not just a church of, of staid buildings made of brick and stone, but we are also people that used to go out into the fields to what we call camp meetings. Matter of fact, the Methodists were even known as the shouting Methodists at one point in our history. And so today we're going to be drawing on music from that tradition, from our Southern Gospel revivalist tradition, because we believe that those songs help us connect with God at a deeper level in giving us hope for the future and a belief that Jesus is indeed with us. These are songs about life, about how we live our life and how we experience our life. And one of the ways to think about life is that life is like a mountain railroad.
My personal story of faith goes back to the Park Avenue Baptist Church over in West Nashville. And every Sunday we'd come into church and there was this wonderful piano player that we had there. I didn't know much about him. He was kind of unassuming. But I soon learned that this was the great Elmo Mercer. Elmo Mercer was a writer of gospel songs. He wrote over 1,600 gospel songs during his lifetime, including a song called The Great Speckled Bird, which was a hit for Roy Acuff. We lost Elmo just back in November, but he always wrote songs that helped us connect with who we understand God to be. And so now our own Brian Hansen is going to sing a great Elmo Mercer tune, The Way He Loves Me. The way that he loves is as fair as the day that blesses my way with light. The way that he loves is as soft as the breeze caressing the trees at night. So tender and precious is he Contented with Jesus I'll be The way that he loves Is so thrilling because His love reaches even me that he loves is as deep as the sea his spirit shall be my stay the way that he loves is as pure as the rose much sweeter he grows each day his peace hovers near like a dove. I know there's a heaven above. To Jesus I'll cling. Life's a wonderful thing because of the way he loves. His peace hovers near like a dove. I know there's a heaven above. To Jesus I'll cling. Life's a wonderful thing because of the way he loves. When I grew up, there were three reasons to go to a revival. One was just to see friends and family. Sometimes there'd even be food at these things, and so it'd be a great time of, of fellowship. Another was to hear great preaching that would bring people to Jesus, and the preaching was always fiery and inspiring. But the final reason was to be revived. That is, to take a dead and lifeless faith and bring it back into life. These were times to be energized for the year to come, to pick up our spirits so that we would be able to go and share God's love throughout the world. Now, the revivals I went to always had guest musicians, and we're lucky to have some with us today. The Danberries, made up of Ben DeBerry and his wife Dorothy Daniel, are a great bluegrass and Americana group, and they're friends of mine. And so they're here to share with us the, the reminder that in God's love, we are working on a building. Building too, working on a building. 
One of the things that has helped me in my faith over the years has been to read through the Psalms. The Psalms, as you know, are the hymn book of the Hebrew people. And I love them because they contain songs about all sorts of stuff. Songs of praise. O oh Lord, how many are thy works in wisdom. You have made them all. And songs of lament. By the waters of Babylon, we lay down and wept. Throughout them all, there is a message of hope. Hope in something better, hope for the future. And so the song we're about to sing really is a song of both lament and hope. Lament in the fact that we're in the midst of suffering while others seem to prosper. But hope, because we know that farther along, we'll know all about it. And farther along, we'll understand why. day long 
Welcome to the City Road Chapel United Methodist Church, a faith community dedicated to growing in our love of God and love of neighbor. For over 170 years, our church has been a presence in Madison, Tennessee, helping people connect to God and showing the love of Christ in all sorts of ways. We invite anyone seeking meaning and purpose in their life to join us as we work together to walk in the way of Jesus. During the COVID epidemic, We've worked hard to balance the need to gather together with the responsibility we have to keep one another safe. Given the recent uptick in the number of infections, we have chosen to suspend in-person worship through the rest of 2020 or until the infection rate in our city shows a significant decline. While we aren't gathering together on Sunday mornings, the work of City Road Chapel continues on, both online and through Ministries of Mercy. Our prime worship experience is shared on YouTube every Saturday evening, and the Walking in the Way podcast is published every Tuesday or Wednesday. And every Tuesday, members of our church gather online for sharing in prayer. We also share God's love with the homeless in our community through our showers of blessing and feast community meals, and we minister to children and their families through our three-star rated Child Development Center. We encourage you to visit our website to find out more about all of our ministries at www.cityroadchapel.org. Our work is dependent on the generosity of our members and the community. If you would like to make a donation to the work of the City Road Chapel United Methodist Church, please visit our website at cityroadchapel.org. All donations are tax-deductible. 
We hope and pray that you find meaning in today's service, and we pray God's blessings on you in the weeks to come. Now, as I said earlier, part of the reason for a revival is to encourage the church to be engaged in the stuff that they're supposed to be doing, that is, sharing the love and joy and grace of Jesus Christ with the world. And sometimes we need to be challenged so that we are ready to do the work that we're supposed to do. So the Danbury's are going to join us again, reminding us that it's time to get right church. Well, we've reached the end of our time together, and I sincerely hope that throughout this musical celebration, you have been able to experience a bit of joy, maybe even a little sorrow, but always that call towards hope. We want to leave with a reminder, a reminder that God's grace is all-encompassing, that God loves us more than anything, and it's through His amazing grace when we're lost, we become found. This last song, of course, is a, is a classic. We sing at funerals and we sing in church. It was written by a slave trader who found Jesus and whose life was changed. And so, as we leave today, may God's blessings be with you as we celebrate God's amazing grace. Oh
amazing grace how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me I once was lost but now I'm found was blind but now I Good enough for me. Well, give me that old time. 